Today we're visiting the RV Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana. So we're just gonna tour the facility and um, take a look at all the RVs. So the first RVs were covered wagons. This one was built by the Covered Wagon Company. And it's got a bad kitchen area. Door Industries. Here's a Model T Ford and a travel trailer. Vintage Airstreams, which one's this? Flying Nin cloud. 1958, 22 foot flying cloud. I just noticed the couch in this Airstream is on wheels. You can see on casters. So if you ever towed anything, where is this going to end up by the time you get to the campground? Well, this is that one that we were told about, the smallest Airstream. Yeah. This is, what, 14 feet? Is it? I believe that's what we were told. And it was in a one of a, one of a kind, um, smallest airstream ever built. Built, um, and it was supposed to be designed after the European travel trailers of the time. But when they built it, they realized it was too small. No one could really live in it. So they've only built the one. But this ended up being the prototype for the Airstream Bambi, the 16 foot that we have today. Pacero Fleet House Car. It was in Buffalo. Yeah, Pacero was from Buffalo. Look at the inside. Driver's area. Dining room. This one's a custom body that would be built and shipped to a, your manufacturer of choice. And you probably would consider this to be like a trolley style uh, camper because of the roof line having the vented windows up there for air for airflow this section right here is where the bed is and it was like a Murphy bed that would fold down I think we can get a peek in here from the back oh no that's cabinets this, this is the bed back here okay May West house car. So this was uh, offered to May West as an enhancement to sign for this with a studio about Paramount. So this was used for many years to transport Miss West from her home or hotel to shooting locations. Story goes that she would have a rocking chair on this back porch. Okay. 
So this is a model double A house car, 1931. And uh, what catches my attention on this is the seats. Can you imagine traveling around in seats like that? This is a Camp King tent trailer. All this would fold down and, you know, be towed behind a vehicle. All your camping gear would go in here probably on the floor. It's a 1933 camp car. I guess this would be the Class B van of the day. 1935 Cozy Camp Tet Trailer. Peek inside here. Basically just a couple bank bunks that you could probably sleep a family of four. Provided people don't mind sleeping with each other. Over here. This is the 1939 Lindbergh travel trailer. So this was used by Charles Lindbergh. Bunk beds in the back. Kitchen up in the front. This is a Bolus Road Chef. If you th think it looks familiar, it's the predecessor of the Airstream. Wally Byam actually copied this for one of his first trailers. But also, it's a design that's actually been brought back by the company. Bolus is now building travel trailers, again, using a very similar design to this. What's really unique about this is it has a front entrance. You would entrance right over the tongue of the trailer between your tow vehicle. And it's got a very boat design to it. You can see the front of it there, or the back actually, tapers in like a boat, boat hull. And it has uh, berths on either side, similar to a boat. This is a 1937 Hunt house car. Peek in. So obviously this is a motor home. Here you can see the back. And it is somewhat of a boat tail design coming to a V in the back. Homemade camper. Look, it's got a canvas roof. Oh, and a pot, like a pop out in the back. A Shasta. 1954. Bunk beds in the back. A little bit of a dine out here. Nineteen fifty four Yellowstone, two doors. So, this would be a higher line travel trailer. See the furnace, stove, dinette area, and then a second door into the bedroom. I'm wondering if that's probably a bathroom in the middle. I think you can go in. Yeah, you can enter. It makes some noise when you walk in. Oh, that's the fridge. Is that the bath? Plaza. Guess you would use the campground bathroom. I guess, yeah. Well, this is something. 
Probably another closet. You have a, it's like a gas stove of some type. Or oven, or a heater. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Little teardrop. And this is a Servo Scotty 12. I think, so this is a teardrop. Is this considered a teardrop or more of a canned ham? It says travel trailer. Yeah. No. I remember these, these little Scotties. Mm -hmm. They had the multi-level roof. Holiday Rambler. 54 Holiday Rambler. Oh yeah, the roof pops up. So it's like a bunkhouse. Yeah. It's almost got essentially five beds if this is a bed back here. Mm -hmm. Coachman. 1964 Coachman travel trailer. Right. Yeah, it gets hooked. It gets folds in the middle and hooks up. You know, the spot up there, so it would fold up, so you, you could use the dining area. Mustang Westwood Coach. Mustang. Could you tow it with your 1966 Mustang? It's got a bunk bed set up in the back. This is a carriage travel trailer. Now you're starting to get a little more amenities. It looks like this one has a bathroom in it. A little bit bigger. Jayco, pop-up. Used to see these everywhere. A little fan trailer, yep. My parents had one of these, not this large. It wasn't a fan luxury liner. Oh, how big was those? Oh, it was, on, it was maybe 20 feet. What was this? It didn't have dual axles. And it was a, it had a raised section in the front with a bunk. I believe it did, yes. Where'd you sleep? There was a bunk up over the front. Oh, okay. Lazy days, Dodge. Getting into the Class C and Class A. Fleetwood Bounder. Is this what was in Breaking Bad? Yeah. Yeah. In the beginning, in the first part of the series, they had one.
is this their um, drug lab? Yeah, their meth lab. It was a different model than this one. I mean, a different layout or whatever. So this was a front wheel drive motor home. It was a 1964 Clark Corez motor home. Interesting. Oh, I've seen these around where they have the truck for an end. Oh, yeah. And then they build a you know, motor home to the back. So this would be, what's this? A Sites chassis mount truck camper. This is a road trek, 60 or 88. So this is an early class B van. One like this is really just an extension of like the, the 70s custom vans. If you follow YouTube and you follow Keep Your Daydream, this is the Daydream bus from their one season where they did Route 66. And it looks like we're going to be able to go in this one. So here's the vintage Route 66 upholstery. Did they have it redone? No, this is the this is the way it was built. I think they had some work done to it, but the upholstery and everything's original. Well, they had new batteries. Yeah, they had solar and lithium batteries installed. Oh, it's right there. Mm -hmm. Well, they, there's a dramatic refrigerator. So they did some upgrades. Yeah. But they kept the right the vintage interior. Mm -hmm. The bathroom. Can't imagine it'd be comfortable taking a shower in that. Kind of small. Mm -hmm. Maybe for you. Oh. All the gauges. Look at all that. Yeah. So, do you think someday when we're old and no longer doing YouTube, our Airstream will end up in here? Oh, I doubt it. Classic GMC motorhome built on a front wheel drive, old wheel chassis, painted desert edition. 
The, what's unique about these is the low floor. You don't, you don't even need a step to get into it. Yeah. But then you have a high platform for your driving. Couch back there to yeah. And these were actually built by General Motors completely. They didn't build a chassis and farm it out to a RV manufacturer. They built the whole thing. And they built them for only a few years. Some of the upholstery and stripe combinations. Yep, this is your bedroom. Well, this is a very customized <coughs> one. Pretty much what they took uh, GM, GMC Motorhome and brought it up to date. Mm -hmm. They found it next, let's say, next to a dumpster. Regular bathroom in the back, custom cabinetry, high-end countertops. It's like nice leather upholstery. Driver's compartment's all been updated. Could you travel in this? This would be nice, yeah. Yeah, it's even got a little bar. You know, wine refrigerator. Mm -hmm. This one's different. A Star Streak 2. So this is built on a 1976 Cadillac Eldorado chassis. So again with the front wheel drive. Very angular body. But it picks up some of the Cadillac stuff with the grill. And the tail fins. Which are back here. Near the Cadillac tail fins. Oh, even some of the... Cadillac tail lights. The Executive Diplomat Edition. Nineteen eighty six, one owner. Picked up right from the factory in California. <laughs> chairs. Oh yeah, little barrel chairs. <laughs> How cute. In the back. So, a Winnebago section. I think Winnebago and Thor must be corporate sponsors. The classic Winnebago toaster motorhome, because it looks like a toaster. And they built these things forever. Even brought them back after a while. It's the Go RV Hall. Oh, these are new. So, manufacturers will bring new RVs here to display them. And show you what you can get today. There's a little background noise here, so that's interesting. 
kind of takes that, you know, shock cord or shock um, pole concept. Hmm. That's a cool wrap. <laughs> so this is a this is a vintage one. The kind of a shed looking wrap. Even the, even the hubcaps are wrapped to look like wagon wheels. <laughs> and this is a J Flight by J Co. This is probably less than 20 feet. It's 28,000. Very common layout, really. Mm -hmm. Bathroom in the back corner. Bed in the front, dinette in the middle. What are your thoughts of the RV Museum and Hall of Fame? It was interesting. Yeah. I thought it would be a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think it's not quite as big as you think it would be. Yeah. Well, it's half RV Museum and half... Manufactured homes. Manufactured homes. Which was a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. So. But, uh, yeah. It was okay. The, okay. High, the highlight would be the... Um, KYD. The KYD bus? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It yeah. was fun to walk through. Nice little break. If you're traveling down I-80 slash 90 through Indiana, you pull in here. It's right off the expressway. You're going to check it out. And you can stay the night. Yeah, you can stay the night.